Hey guys, my name is James from gigapress.net. I'll be showing you how to use FTP for WordPress. What is FTP, and why do you need to use it? You can simply think of FTP, or File Transfer Protocol, as a way to browse and manage your website's backend files on its server. Similarly to how you manage files on your computer using Windows File Explorer or Mac OS Finder. With FTP, you can upload, download, and organize files effortlessly. If you encounter the white screen of death or other errors, FTP allows you to investigate and fix issues by replacing or modifying files. Now let me show you how to set up FTP and how to manage a WordPress site using FTP. Let's set up your FTP. First, we need to choose an FTP client. We recommend using FileZilla, which is a free FTP client available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. To download and install it on your computer, go to the FileZilla website by clicking on the link in the description below. Once you're on the website, click on the Download FileZilla Client button. Once you're done installing the FTP client, let's continue by connecting to your website. You should be able to view your FTP credentials in the FTP account section of your web hosting control panel. In your cPanel, go to the File section and click on FTP Accounts. Here you will find your FTP credentials. But if you can't find this information in your control panel, contact your hosting company's support team. Once you've got your FTP credentials, open FileZilla. Click File at the top left, then select Site Manager. On the Site Manager, click New Site and give it a name. Enter your host usually your domain name or server IP address. Choose FTP File Transfer Protocol as the protocol. Select Use Explicit FTP over TLS if available. Then set the port to 21 as the default FTP port. Enter your FTP username and password. Once done, click Connect. If this is your first time connecting, you may encounter a certificate window that looks like this. Check the box to Always Trust Certificate in Future Sessions, then click OK. Before we go to the next step, if you find this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to find more WordPress tutorials and reviews. Once connected, you'll see two panels in FileZilla. On the left column, you will see the local files on your computer, and on the right column, the remote files on your server. To manage your WordPress files, navigate to the main directory of your website. By default, this directory is called public underscore HTML. This directory contains a variety of WordPress core files, most of which you'll never need to edit. You'll also notice three subdirectories, wp-admin, wp-content, and wp-includes. In the vast majority of cases, you'll never need to touch wp-admin or wp-includes. These contain WordPress core files that are often overwritten by automatic updates. However, you will want to be familiar with the wp-content directory, which is home to your themes, plugins, and media uploads. The plugins directory contains a subdirectory for each of your plugins. The themes directory contains a subdirectory for each of your themes. The uploads directory contains all of the files you've uploaded to your media library. By default, this directory is organized into subdirectories by upload date. Now here I'm going to show you how to edit files using FTP. Before editing files via FTP, I would strongly suggest installing a better text editor and setting it as the default application on your system. I personally use Notepad++ for Windows and Atom for Mac OS, both of which are free. If you need to edit a file on your web server, for example, your theme, select the Themes folder, then right-click Functions.php, then an option shows up. Click View slash Edit. This will open the file in your system's default text editor for that file type. After you've finished editing a file, save it in your text editor. Click File, then click Save. Now return to FileZilla. Click Yes to upload the updated file back to your website, and your changes will be applied. Now to give you a better understanding of how to use FTP, I'll guide you through how to install a WordPress theme using FTP. First, make sure you have the theme files ready on your computer. If you downloaded the theme as a zip file, extract it to create a regular folder containing all the theme files. Now, open FileZilla. The left column represents your local files on your computer, and the right column represents the remote files on your web server. 
Use the left column, Local Site, to navigate to the folder where your theme files are located. In the right Remote Site column, open your website's root directory, usually public underscore HTML, and then navigate to wp-content slash themes. Now, simply drag your theme folder from the left column into an empty space in the right column. Once you're done, you can log into your WordPress dashboard and activate your theme by going to the Appearance section and then click on Themes. Another way of using FTP is by installing WordPress plugins using FTP, and it's very similar to installing a theme. With the same process, first, make sure you have a folder containing the plugin files. If you downloaded the plugin as a zip file, you need to extract it first. Next, open FileZilla and locate your plugin folder in the left Local Site column. In the right Remote Site column, open your site's root directory, which is public underscore HTML, and navigate to wp-content slash plugins. Again, drag your plugin folder from the left column into an empty space in the right column. Now, you should be able to find and activate your new plugin in your WordPress dashboard by going to Plugins and then Installed Plugins. If you want to upload or download WordPress media files using FTP, simply follow these steps. In your Remote Site column, navigate to wp-content slash uploads. To upload files from your computer to your site, drag and drop the file from the Local Site column to the Remote Site column. To download files from your site to your computer, drag and drop them from the right column to the left column. So that's it. That's how you can use File Transfer Protocol, or FTP. You now have a better understanding of FTP to manage your WordPress website. For more WordPress tutorials, our free WordPress masterclass, and fast and reliable web hosting, visit gigapress.net. Thank you, and see you next time.